may be a lowly editor, but I still think it's a nothing story. Not big enough for Blake to move you to Metro or City Desk. It will be when I write it. If I learned anything in journalism school, you have to dig out the great stories. They don't fall into your lap. One kid overdosing is three. not... Three. There were three deaths at Horizon. These so-called wilderness therapy schools are a joke. They charge huge tuitions. And then they put all these druggies and sociopathic kids together, and then they tromp them off into the woods and call it therapy. It's a scam. This is going to be my first big byline press, and I'm going to nail it. Peter. Yeah. I want to try Dodd's Peak again. Oh, Kat, it's kind of late in the season. There could be snow up there by now. I know, but I really want to plant my flag on that mountain before I graduate. Please. Ah. Uh, if I can convince the other cliffhangers to help me. Excuse me, uh, Peter, the new admit's on her way. Good. Can, can you handle it? Really? Yeah. A second. I've never done an admit solo before. You sat through at least a dozen with me, so, so it's going to be a first time. I wouldn't ask you if I didn't think you were ready. Peter. Yeah. Please. Dog speak. I think she's ready. So do I. Yes! If Thank you. you can convince the others. Hmm? Right, I gotta go. Mr. Douglas? Sophie Becker. Welcome to Horizon. Thank you. My, uh... Uh, this is... Amanda. Would you mind stepping out and joining us? This is all about you, so you might want to know what's going on. Who cares? Well, you, I hope. It is your life we're talking about. Thank you. isn't Amanda anymore. Drugs, petty theft. I, j I just can't control her anymore. And how long has this behavior been going on? About six months. I don't even know what brought it on. But Mr. Douglas, all of your paperwork seems to be incomplete. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting her school records and her probation report. Ms. Becker, I just want to keep her safe right now. I'll get you the paperwork. Of course. I understand. Your tuition is pretty steep here. Yeah, it is. But believe me, the school is very costly to run. If it's a problem, we'll be able to work something out. And Mr. Douglas, don't worry. We'll take good care of Amanda. Thank you. or cleaning anything. That's fine. Then you don't eat. Cause and effect. That's what you learn around here. Peter, this is Amanda Douglas. Amanda, this is Peter Scarborough, the director of Horizon. Hi, Amanda. Nice to meet you. Don't cry if I don't feel the same. Don't worry, I won't. First, let's get you settled in. Kat, you mind bringing Amanda over to Cliff Girls dorm? Sure. You're going to have some supervised quiet time so you can get used to the place. 
The other cliffhanger girls are going to be hiking up Doug's Peak tomorrow. Then I want to go too. You should really stay here and get acclimated. I'm not staying in an empty dorm alone. And besides, I've been backpacking before. It's a tough hike. You sure you can handle it? There's nothing I can't handle. Well, good. Great. Yeah. Uh, please? Thanks, Kat. That's weird, huh? She wants to go for a hike? You kids never want to do anything. In the whole history of this school, only 25 kids have made it to the top. I can't even believe you want to do it. I mean, you can still graduate without planting a stupid flag on top of a mountain. <laughs> it's just symbolic. It's about pride, show. Personal achievement, you know. Why do people run marathons or climb Mount Everest? Because they're masochists. Mm -hmm. I mean, they live for pain and they love every second of it. And they think I'm weird. <laughs> right. Do a lot of kids get hurt on these hikes? Accidents happen sometimes. Usually nothing serious. I fell in a cave once and this kid Ezra fell off a bridge. That's when Peter started calling this place Clumsy High. <laughs> he jokes about it. I heard a kid died here a couple months ago. So, what, you collect dead kid stars? Is that your thing? I like her already. Okay, you guys, let's get some sleep. We're out of here in first light. So, <clears throat> hey, guys, thanks for supporting me on this one. Yeah. I <sighs> How come every time I want to talk, you just want to do this? Because this is so much better than talking. No, no, it isn't. Not always. What I mean is, I've told you all my worst stuff. You haven't told me a single thing about your life. Now, I've been patient and all, but I want to know. I'm serious. It's only fair, right? You talk too much. Besides, there's nothing to tell. <clears throat> Let's get the rest of the stuff packed. Translated, that means thanks for helping me out on this moronic trip, Shelby. I really appreciate it. Thank you for helping me out on this moronic trip, Shelby. I really appreciate it. I do. Really. Now, come on. We're wasting daylight. Come on, guys. We've got to get this stuff packed. Ten minutes. Why do they always want to talk so much? Well, you could be honest with them radical you think if you tell everybody about whacking daddy with a seven iron they'll leave you alone you have your hiding place i've got mine what's her damage deeper than you can fathom yeah like what i bet she has a really twisted story huh do you want to see something twisted it's okay relax So what'd you do? Drugs, running away, none of your business. What about you? Cut her and binge purge queen. Sold diet pills to half the girls in my class. Messed myself up on laxatives and ended up in the hospital. Twice. What? I don't know, you just don't look like that. Do you want to see the scars? It's, it's kind of weird here at first, but the initial panic wears off. Do I look panicked? Shelby. Yes, my captain. Got a phone call. It's your mother. Look. It's right over there. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. 
I'm fine. Okay. No. Okay. Well? My stepfather had a heart attack. Sorry, Shelby. How is he? Not dead. He's in the hospital. Your mother must be uh, overwhelmed. Huh? You go pack up, and I'll make arrangements for you to get back home. No, no, I'm I'm going to Doc's Peak with everyone else. What? You gonna make me go home? No, not if you don't want to. And into the river. Ah, uh, it wasn't any biggie. Fifty feet. Really? Wow. Isn't that Peter guy supposed to make sure things like that don't happen? Well, he wasn't there. It was my fault, anyhow. Is this the do you want to talk about it moment? I know you never got along with your stepfather, but maybe if I knew how you feel. You want to know how I feel? I feel like being left alone. And I mean five minutes. Anyone ever die on these hikes? Not here. But they fall off bridges and into caves and down mountains. Stay hydrated. Take your time. Do fine. She's a puzzle, isn't she? I don't know what I did to make her so mad. Did it ever cross your mind that maybe it isn't about you? Do you think Shelby should be alone like that? I think I'll walk with her. So, no. I'm not gonna push. So, she just wants to be alone. Let's respect that. If she's out here and her stepfather dies, then how's she gonna feel? Relieved, probably. What? Peter, not Shelby. There's nothing about abuse by her stepfather in her record. It's not in her records. It's in her eyes. It's been in her eyes since the first day she came here. We're ahead of schedule. Good. Give me your map. Why are you taking away your map? Obstacles, right? Every time you think things are going great, life throws you some obstacles. You can count on that. Map, please. Three minutes. So now I'm flying like some wingless bird. When all along I told myself that freedom is just a stupid word. I'd like to call you, but I don't know what to say. I'm sad I had to leave you, but I had to change my way. I'm starving. Ken doesn't seem too sure. You think she knows where she's going? So, um, where can a new kid get some pharmaceuticals? Nowhere around here. People sneak stuff in sometimes, but Peter always catches them. He's like one of those dogs at the airport. Of course, he didn't know I could pick locks. I broke into the supply closet. Huffer's heaven. I'm screaming for a taste. You've got to let me know if anyone gets something. So, um, where do you go? You know, potty holes down the trail. <laughs> Yucky. I approve. She's nice. Yeah, too nice. You know, back at my high school, there was a girl just like her. 
She made friends with everyone, asked lots of questions, carried a badge. A narc. Very interesting. <laughs> you guys watch way too much TV. What's up with you, huh? Nothing. I just want to be left alone, okay? Okay. A narc. No way, man. She was like grilling us about fiending. All she does is ask questions. It smells like a badge to me. Does Peter know? Of course he knows. She'd have to have his approval to get in here. No, no, no. He's way too upfront for that. Then maybe he doesn't know. Well, only she knows who knows. Now we know, but she doesn't know we know. too early to be getting up. Come on, come on, we've got to make miles. You need to make miles. We're just your share place. Here, Amanda. Can I help you with that? All your dad told Sophie was, uh, your behavior's changed radically in the last few months. You're not going to see your school records or probation report until Monday. So you mind telling me what I'm going to find? You tell me. You're not a doctor, are you? I'm not a psychiatrist, no. Psychologist? No, but I'm licensed by the state to do what I do. What you do is play around with people's heads, right? Ever mess up? Make some kid off himself? Yeah, I've lost kids. It hurts. Yeah, I'll bet. What about you, Amanda? Have you lost anybody you care about? Yeah, I had a turtle once. My dad stepped on him. Your dad also said you were doing a lot of drugs. What were you into? Anything I could get my hands on. Like what? Acid, glass, speed, Jojo, banks? What? All of them. Really? As much as I could. You know, I really don't feel like talking. Okay, then we'll just talk later. Jojo, Dinks, one of those. I don't know, I made it up. All right, no more tents, Cat. From here on out, you just drop them in the river by mistake. Ah, uh, man, what for rains? Then we build some shelters. I like your style, Cat. Not gonna let me rattle you. No way. Let's get moving. Are you okay there, Mandy? Only 17 miles today. Fun in the great outdoors, huh? You need some help? No, she does. The other guys say she's a narc. Daisy wants to mess with her head. <laughs> Please, what's she gonna bust us for out here? Beef jerky? Wanna walk together? Look, don't confuse a joke for an invitation that I want company. Do you really think she and her father lied to get her in? That was her father. Well, why would they? To investigate us? I'm sure it has something to do with Isaac Wilton. She's a cop? No, a state regulatory agency. They have undercover investigators. Well, I hope you're wrong. The kids have been spilling their guts to her. It doesn't matter. We got nothing to hide. Wish we could say the same about Shelby. She'll talk when she's ready. 
but how long can she carry all that pain? As long as she has to. I've never made it this far. We were flooded out once, and another time my group gave up because we had to go 14 miles one day. But you guys have kept up the whole time. I'm so proud of you guys. I know there will probably be some more obstacles, but we'll get past them. All right, Kat. Amanda, everything to say to the group? I don't know you people, why should I tell you anything? Oh, come on, Mandy. Tell us some deep, personal secrets. You can trust us, but can we trust you? I don't have anything to say. Okay. Anybody else? Amanda's right. You know, you, you open up to someone, tell them your secrets, then they don't want to talk to you anymore, so... You have a, an issue you'd like to address, Scott? I just did. My stepfather had a heart attack. I didn't know, okay? I'm sorry. You must feel like... Don't tell me how I feel. He's just some guy that married my mom, that's all. Just an extra plate at dinner. I don't even know him. So... Is he okay? Is he still in the hospital? What? I don't care. I hope he dies. I've prayed for him my whole life. There's something you're not telling me. No. You have to tell me what happened. I don't have to tell you anything. He did it to you. The same thing that happened to me. He, ab he abused you, he molested you. No. It's not your fault. Look at me, all right? You have to tell me what happened. Just stay out of my life. No, I'm not gonna just... Just go! Just go away! The ghosts of your pleasure in contempt. When we were liars, things were seamless. When we were wired, the world was like a secret. I close my eyes now and I scream. Turn the light on and there's nothing left redeeming I saw your face before it changed I got it makes you look nicer in a bad way So low for how high it's too Leave me alone. I'm not gonna talk about it. He catches touchdowns and he goes out with cheerleaders. He thinks that's the world. He doesn't know anything about the world. About me. If I talk to him, I'll tell him everything. I'll look into those sweet eyes and he'll be able to stop it from coming out. Once I start, it'll all come out and he'll hate me forever. It's 
poison, you know. All of it. It eats you up inside. You know what's gonna happen to you if you don't spit out that poison. Yeah, I lose either way if I keep it in or spit it out. Maybe. But maybe not. Yeah, that foster home was really whack. Making meth in the basement? Learned some cool stuff there, though. You know how to make meth? Oh, we all do. Simple chemistry, you know. Now, refining smack, there's an art. Do you want to hear a really amazing one? When I was 15, I started running away. It was tough just staying alive. My best friend, Patty, I watched her OD right in front of me. Come on, Chill. Tell the real story. When things got hard, really bad, I had to sometimes... I started turning tricks. It was easy money when I needed it. Just walk down the street, smile, and the men would... That's uh, when my mother found me and brought me here. I'm going to bed. Shelby? What was that? <laughs> Just having some fun. Playing the mess with Amanda game. The story you told? It's nothing to joke about. Yeah, well, uh, you handle it your way and I'll handle it mine. All right, campers. The bridge is washed out. You're gonna have to find another way across. Peter, this isn't fair. Overcoming obstacles, Cat. You got a river to cross. How are you gonna do it? There's only one way. Tyrolean crossing. What's that? You stretch a line across. Man, there's nothing scarier. You mean go across on a rope? That high? No way. Okay, okay, okay. But how are we gonna get the rope across, huh? We'll have to send somebody to the other side to catch it. Not me. Well, you know how cold that water is. Hey, uh, Rivers and I aren't exactly best friends. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks, but you guys have done enough for me already. It's my quest. I'll do it. Hey, you think you can throw a ball with a thin line across the gorge? Are you kidding me? All right, let's go. Now what? This 
one of Peter's learning experiences. All right, Amanda, you're up. Come on. It's like seeing your own mortality, isn't it? Okay, move yourself across, hand over hand. Okay. Thank me, it's my job. How about you? What do you mean? You got something exciting to write about now? Huh? A reporter, that's, uh, it's just great. If you wanted to write an expose, you should come to us. We've got nothing to hide. Then honest. She didn't want the truth. She wanted a horror story. This school is deadly and dangerous. Dangerous? Back home, my mom used to come and pick me up from school. And every day, she'd be drunk. The whole drive home, I'd, I'd have to close my eyes because I couldn't watch. The world is dangerous. Horizon is the safest place I've ever been. This was my last chance. It still is, Kate. No poser like her is going to ruin it for you. Augie's right. Come this far, you've earned it. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, guys, saddle up. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay here with her. I know it's a lot to ask, but... Do you mind if I tag along? You don't deserve it. What Catherine's doing takes courage, not deception. You might have fooled me, but you can't fool them. They see you for what you are. But these kids have two things going for them. Hope and guts. What have you got that comes even close to that? Maybe, uh... Maybe we should let her come with us. See what we're all about. Thank you. you know she was a reporter? It's a hunch. Now she's been hanging with the students, pumping them for information. State investigators are always more interested in the staff than the students. You are good, aren't you? That's what I've been told. <sighs> How are you 
tired? It's just up there. We'll get our chance, Cat. Now it's your turn. coming we need a cab peter our jobs aren't that different we both deal in the truth yeah since when's deception the truth kids do die in these schools and get hurt kids die and get hurt everywhere it doesn't hurt any less up here or out there look Amanda, I can't tell you what to write, but you have to ask yourself this question. Where would these kids go if there wasn't schools like Horizon? Who shelters the battered and the abused, the molested, the kids who lose themselves to drugs? You? Your paper? No. It's easy to sensationalize our failures. I just... I wish maybe you could learn a way to dignify our small successes. Like Catherine's. That was no small success. That was a lifetime achievement. I'll never see ink in your paper, Will. Shelby. Your mother's on the phone. You can take it in the lodge. I don't want to talk to Shelby. her. Do what you want. But you have to face it sometime. Like you've been through a war. Did you get your story? No, not the one I was after. Come on, I need a hot Just meal and an endless shower. In a window chair, pondering our existence. She often looks to me to be what I can't be. Shakes her head at my resistance. He's not dying. He's not dying. So much for answered prayers. What? The story that you told the reporter. The story that you made up about yourself. I know it's the truth. It's what happened to you. I mean, on the streets. Of all the glances that 
but she throws my way and makes me hesitate and sometimes deviate from the futures I see clear as day and she says don't fall away don't fall away don't fall away from me It's not what you did, it's, it's his scar tissue. <laughs> Every day in the shower I stand there. Every day. And I think, what a waste, what a waste because I'm never going to get clean. The things I did, I can't even touch my own skin. I don't even understand it. How can he? He'll try. I had sex with men for money. Do you know what that makes me? A survivor. I'll never understand. Well, then he's not the one. My friend Patty, the one who OD'd, you're a lot like her. Take that as a compliment. It is.